What is up, Team Tierra B? If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Tierra B, and I'm just doing me. And in today's video, we are gonna see what the results are for my braid out from my Myel product review. And so here is the product. I also use their leave-in conditioner. I don't have it right here with me, but we are gonna put this to the real test because I've had these braids in for about a week. And so the reason I left them in, aside from the fact that we're quarantined, <laughs> is because I wanted to see how well this product held in my moisture. So as you can see, the braids are just kind of doing whatever they want to do, but I have not added anything else except for oil, um, just to try and avoid my hair from being too dried out. But anywho, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this takedown because I'm looking a little crazy right now, but I'm just using a um, rat tail comb. And then what I'm gonna do is spray the end of this rat tail comb with some carrot oil and go ahead and begin taking these down. So I am excited to see if my hair has any moisture left. Um, just squeezing them, I feel like they have a little bit left. So let's see how well this product did as it relates to um, giving me a good braid out as well as maintaining my moisture. So I'm just carefully sticking the end of the comb inside. Looks like it's gonna be some pretty good definition. So that's good. I usually do twist out, so I'm definitely interested to see how the braid out is gonna work out for me. But yeah, good definition there. So I'll go ahead and get these taken down and I will come back at the end for my final review and results from this product. Stay tuned. you guys so here you will see me just kind of fluffing and lifting and just making sure that I can get it as full as possible you do want to be careful here just to make sure that you are not tearing your hair out or disturbing the pattern that was created by the braid out um, but yeah so I think that it looks really nice and 
beautiful. Um, I still have that um, heart shape that I usually get when I get when I do a twist out. So um, it's a little different with the braid out, but not much. I do like the definition here. As you can see, I'm definitely feeling it. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and attempt to lay my edges. As you all know, my edges do not like to be laid. So I'm just going to go ahead in with some jam. Um, this is a soft hold. Uh, more so just for the video for a few pictures because it definitely won't last much longer than maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know about you. Comment below if you use jam to lay your edges. Let me know if it stays for you because it definitely does not stay long for me. Um, it's just a really a soft hold even though it says extra hold um, but anyway so here I'm just trying to get um, a simple uh, edge look you know just some baby hairs to go along with this beautiful braid out and so nothing too major you see it just fell off the um, toothbrush this is an old toothbrush that I used to lay my edges so um, I've been trying to use this a little bit more just to see if I can get better results. And so far, I am liking the results. So yeah. So let's watch as I go ahead and get the other side done. Shouldn't take very long. You know, sometimes doing edges one side is easier than the other, so um, <laughs> I was really focused here trying to get some type of, you know, swoop or just, you know, some type of design. I arched my eyebrows about a week ago, so you can see that arch is still looking good. If you didn't catch that video of me arching my eyebrows, it only took me about 10 minutes to get done. So definitely go back in the playlist and check it out for me, if you will. But yeah, guys, we are done with this part. I will jump back on with a live um, conversation versus the voiceover. Here we go. All right, you guys. So I have laid my edges. I have stretched out my hair a little bit. I think this is a super cute braid out, especially after wearing my braids for over a little over a week. Um, I give this product here a A++++. So if you do not have it, it's one of your staple products or if you've never tried it, definitely strongly suggest. It kept my hair moisturized for over a week. It still has just a little bit of shine to it and everything. It even created some definition. I don't know if you can see definition here uh, my hair still feels um, good and moisturized even my hands I don't know if you can tell um, but my hands have a um, little bit of the product still left on it so I am very happy with the product so thank you guys for staying tuned for the final thoughts of this review so it's kind of like a part two but thank you guys for being here with me I appreciate all of the love and support until next time I am Tierra B and I am out bye